Good morning, everyone. So back in November, when uh, Nick and I started getting into more three-wheeler stuff, he found a uh, 250SX for his dad and went and picked it up. When he picked it up, the guy had four tires sitting there, and he thought he recognized it. It looked like uh, the stock Atsu uh, 250SX tires, the PV301s. And so he offered the guy to buy those tires, and so he did. So he had two rears and two fronts. So it turns out they were from a Honda uh, 200SX, I believe it was an 86, and they put the PV301s on the rears of the 200SX, same as the uh, 250SX three-wheeler. And we wanted to put them on his 250SX. So we we're on the search for one more for the front. And we've been searching, trying to find them. People, either people want too much money for them or they're just not around. And so things changed last night. I was working in the garage and Nick sent me something. And I think the search is over. There it is. All original Atsu, Otsu, whatever you call it. H Trek PV301. Same size, 22118. Still really good condition. Got it for a really good price. Looks like it's been sitting for a while. The guy said he just put air in it yesterday and it's still, still holding air. And it's pretty hard right now. You can tell by the rubber, it's just a little bit hard. But there's no signs of weather checking or anything like that. So it obviously was stored inside. Looks like someone uh, painted a camo at one point. It's got camo patterns all inside it. So finally the search is over and we got tire for Nick. Now we can complete his 250SX, get some original Atsus on his uh, trike and uh, get that thing looking really good. But on that note, I think their plan is we're gonna get some projects done. We're gonna get the 110 done. Once the 110 is done, then we'll rip off the tires and then paint the wheels and put the Atsus on. And she's going to be a complete machine. I'll have to pop up a picture here of what uh, we plan on looking like. Uh, we just found this random picture on the internet. It literally looks like what next uh, 250SX is going to look like with the headlight guard and everything. So, except for on that picture, it's got two rack uh, mounting points. So, there we go. The search is over. I present to you the 1986 Honda TRX 250 four tracks flip project. After how many weeks working on it, she's finally done. And man, she signs up good as new. Look at that. And not only does it shine up new, this thing runs like new too. Cold, been sitting for a little bit. Man, it's got that same bulletproof 250cc four stroke on the motor right there, shaft drive. I'm just at a loss of words. I don't even know what to say because it's just this thing cleaned up so good. 
Uh, first of all, uh, sorry about the sweatiness. Uh, it's a little hot out today. Uh, did a little bunch of landscaping around the house, but uh, yeah, I used that thing to help me at least. So, uh, worked about four nights on the front brakes of this thing, trying to get it bled out. Uh, took the master cylinder part and ended up being really red and gummy. And I bought another used master cylinder for the front brakes. That's had the same thing too. Uh, so I'm assuming maybe they used transmission fluid in the brakes and when they were new in the 80s, just like they did in the fork oil of like the ATCs and motorcycles as well. Maybe, I don't know. Uh, so I got it flushed out and it's all good to go. Uh, possibly could use probably front pads, but um, worked on the front brakes, put the whole front end back on, all the plastics and racks and everything. Um, I'll go ahead and show you everything that I've done. So like I stated, everything's put back together. Everything is original. I mean, the decals right there are original. They are cut off right there. They peeled apart over time, so I just kind of rounded over there. Uh, a couple little minor things going on, like the plastic starting to flare out here. At one point, this one got ripped off, so I had the screw down there to hold it in, so it's kind of a little wavy. Um, kind of some imperfections in the plastic, so you see it's kind of got the little cracks going there from being flexed. Front decal's a little bubbly. I'm a holder one little scuffed up. This sticker is brand new. I got that from Blue Line Decals, as well as that one right there, and I believe the trailer hitch one too. So, those are new stickers. Um, the tires, of course, are aftermarket. Uh, they're just the Carlisle Trail Wolves, the big, huge ass tires. Um, I don't know why they are so big because they are the stock size, 25 by 12 by nine but they're just so darn big. And even when uh, on this one, he likes to rub in the exhaust right there. So, I don't know, it kind of makes it look a little goofy, almost like a uh, drag quad or something with the big tires and the small ones in the front. These tires, like I've said before, are original. The original Dunlops. They got some weather checking going on the sides all on here, but they still hold air. There's no tubes in them. Still has the stock valve stems in them. Um, racks are both original from the four-wheeler. Uh, it still has the adapter plug right there that came with it. Um, I have not swapped anything over to my big red. Um, this is original to the quad. That's original to the quad. Uh, the fuel gauge does work. Just cleaned up the seat. I took a, just a magic eraser and some simple green. Cleaned up all the stains that were on it. Original seat cover. Uh, all the lights work. I ended up putting a new battery on there. Uh, the battery is held in by two zip ties. Uh, for life of me, I can't find a bracket that goes over top of the battery. Um, so I'll just zip tie it quick. It's a quick little fix. Uh, the owner's manual compartment, which does have the owner's manual inside, the original owner's manual. Got it inside of the little bag right there. I shouldn't be really wrinkling it up like that because of the age of the paper, but I think it'll be fine. Uh, original rubber tabs here for the rack. All the rear ends original. I just took the rear brakes off yesterday, cleaned them all up. Uh, bunch of brake dust and it was squeaking pretty good. I uh, did put a new cap on the bottom of the muffler there. OEM Honda cap. Those are not Honda screws, but I had the metric ATV bolt kit laying around that I just slapped in there, put those in there. You know, like the caps, the uh, clutch stub and cap, that's original to the quad. This is not broke or anything. Um, this inner fender cover right there is original to the quad. This one is not. It was missing it when I bought the quad and I didn't notice it until I was putting the, little, the front end back on. So reached out to the Honda Hoarders Facebook page or I snagged one up from someone. So that helped complete it. The journey over to this side it does have a new spark plug. Uh, I flushed the gas tank with some new gas, put a new petcock on the on the tank there as well. So, watching uh, Preston Fraser's video of his 1986 lineup, come to find out that in '86, almost every single uh, model ATV and ATC they put steering locks on. So, this one's got the steering lock in the stem right there for theft. 
and it's also got the helmet lock on this side as well as now something that i figured out too is an 85 model trx 250s the oil temp light was an option and it would be mounted right in this area right here but in 86 they made it standard they put it right in with the dash cluster there so it's kind of cool because this dash cluster and this is irreversible you can put on the big red as well did think about swapping them on big red but i'm gonna leave it this thing's too nice to swap parts off like that so uh all the fender flares are original no rips or anything in it just got some cosmetic stuff going on it with it front end's all greased up it's got some new brake fluid in the front as well cleaned up all the wires inside here with the fuses um this headlights does detach just like the big reds as well it's got that long extended cord for a spotlight so we got the seat off here we got that very nice 223 cycles carburetor right there i got a uni aftermarket air filter inside there and replaced the original one ran great with the original one too it was really cool but uh i'll throw that in with the purchase as well does have the spare key that came with it too a little beat up probably from rolling around in the, the glove box back there but i do have the spare key with it as well can't think of much else that i've done to it i haven't really put that much into it besides the carburetor air filter battery uh petcock gas a couple other things here and there i'll start it up lights work little temp shuts off see how fast it does it this time man guys i am really bumming this thing is so nice i'd love to keep it be the perfect four-wheeler for my fiance be a perfect seen to have it runs awesome it's like brand new but gotta send her down the road all right we haven't had a side-by-side -side shot of both machines and there we go so think of the trx basically a four-wheel version of that thing same motor and trans in each um not a whole lot of differences besides you know four wheels and three wheels that one's much heavier that one's much lighter um some different style features that are a little different you know the headlights are the same lenses i believe four inch by six inch but the headlight bug is a little bit different uh just the style of this one it's you know similar design how these tabs pop out like the big reds do on the sides here they pull out from the rubber to take them off uh this one's got a neat little handle there i guess that one's got kind of a handle with the top there but the uh, dash clusters on the 86s and 87s are the same um same colors that gray color these switches on the handlebars are the same as well they changed that in 86 on to 87 uh they did start doing double uh warning labels like imprinted on the plastics there as well as a sticker same thing with on here where on the tire pressure warning they did it side by side of each other i guess if in case if you lose a sticker you still got it in the plastics there and then that warning sticker on the fender is on the gas tank here. Um, oh, there's the tire pressure right there. So it's funny because in 86, they just did the engraved into the plastics, no sticker. But in 87, they went into there. I think the TRXs are the same way in 87 as well. Um, I mean, looking at the rear ends, they are pretty much the same. I know the swing arm is built a little bit different compared to the big red. You got the, the middle support shaft, just one in there. Where it compares to TRX, you got two of them right there. Uh, the rear shock is different. This is uh, not an adjustable shock. It's just a one sh one single load shock where this one's got the adjustment on it. Mufflers are pretty much the same design, except for that one's got a heat shield on it to protect it from the plastics. I wish they would have done that on these because they melt so much. Uh, that one's got an orange rail compartment. This one does not. Uh, in 87, I believe in 86 too, they put the orange manual compartment underneath the trunk lid there. You know, something I kind of wish they would have done, you know, on uh, TRX is they had the mud flap go on the sides here. Uh, the 88 Big Reds look a lot like that too. Um, if you are not sure what 88 Big Red looks like, check out Preston Fraser's video. Uh, not too long ago, he picked up an 88 Big Red from uh, the UK. And you can see how the fender design is similar to something like this, where you have these ones right here 
simple as plastic design. They, they could have done something rubber like this, but they went with this and people want to charge over a hundred dollars for these things each. Freaking nuts. I don't know. Trailer hitches are the exact same. Compared to the starter motor, the 86, so 1985 Big Red TRXs had that oval style starter gear cover right there. Where in 87, they have this weird little triangle weird thing going on. You can see it's got the accessory plug adapter right there as well as on here. I always go missing. That one luckily came with it. And so that's pretty much the same similarities. I mean, the whole reverse and brake system, you know, they had chrome levers on this where it's black, like on these ones. Um, the 250 SXs also have black ones as well as this brake side. They put hydraulic drum brakes on the fronts of these squads, a little bit more stop and power. And then front shocks, they have these tiny little puny little solar shocks. Not a whole lot to them, but better than nothing. Well, everyone, that pretty much wraps up the, the unveiling of the TRX 250 flip. I would love to keep it. It'd be awesome to have. Um, but you know, there's always other chances out there to get another one. Um, my love is for three-wheelers. I, I want to keep my big red, ride that thing around. And uh, I just don't have the room for two machines in my small little garage here. So, But, yep. Yeah. I, I just want to move on and give this quad to someone that will enjoy it as much as I would. So, uh, hopefully everyone enjoyed this video. Hopefully check out our other videos as well. Go ahead and check out all the Facebook groups out there. The Honda Big Red Nation page, Honda Hoarders page, and all the other different Facebook groups out there related to anything Honda, ATC, or ATV. So, hope you guys have a good night. Stay cool out there. It's starting to get hot this week. I know up in Michigan it's starting to get a little warm in the 90s this coming week. Woo. So take care, everyone. Have a good one.